Okay. All right, all right, my construction entrepreneurs. I'm in uh, uh, in one of the unit Mission Viejo, one of my main uh, uh, continuous nonstop jobs. I want to I want to finish off this video that I started there in the truck. So basically, I was saying that uh, any free place that you can see um, jobs at or, or that you can get jobs from is in California. I don't know about anywhere else. Really, California. Um, and, and, and I go on Craigslist, okay? Craigslist, you go there. I mean, I don't go there now. Remember, it's a temporary thing, and okay? You don't want to always use this. This is just a temporary thing starting out. You don't have no money. You need to find jobs. Stop thinking Craigslist is a, you know, always the clients in there, always looking for the cheap people, always looking for the cheap money, cheap workers. There are there. Those cheap clients are everywhere. They're in the commercial world, they're in the uh, residential world. It doesn't matter where it's at, they're there, okay? So you have to learn how to understand the customer that you're going for, understand the type of work that you're going for, and weave through all that to get the jobs that's for you, okay? So you go on Craigslist, and I'm not talking about you just go on Craigslist and just, and just uh, 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 hey, is this job still available? Did you find somebody? No, nah, that's what everybody is doing. What you do on Craigslist, when you see a job, you want to get it, you give them a price. Hey, I can do this job for 1500 you know? But then you put, hey, I, I would need to see the job. If you need to see it, depending on what sector of work you're in, I need to see the job, or um, um, I need to talk to you to get a few more details so we can secure this price, okay? So now you're just giving them initial price based on the little bit of information that they gave you. Let them know that and that you need additional information on no matter how you word it so you can give them a final price. But you give them a price to get them hooked, to give them to the email you back or call you back. Because remember, that's a market that no one is, no one is paying to get leads. No one is, is paying for anything. So everyone is on there and you guys really, you know, who, who has the best attraction that gets the responses, you know? So that's where you go at to, if you don't, if you don't have any money you don't have any other resources, if you don't have any ways to sign up for lead generation or, uh, or, or things like that. But remind, remember, it's work, okay? It, it, when I was doing Craigslist, I was responding to at least 10, 10 posts a day, sometimes 20 posts a day. So that means that I, 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 have, to know what I'm, I have to know what I'm talking about because I'm giving numbers for at least 90% of them. Okay, I'm giving numbers wherever I can. Put and you gotta remember, you gotta give a number. Remember that market is residential, so you gotta give a number that's not going to be too low, to where once you give them a number, you can't give them thirteen hundred, and then after they talk to you, it's like twenty three hundred. It's not if it's not justifiable. Okay, so you can't just throw just just throw numbers out there because it's just it's just not going to work for you. But it's work involved. You need to. You know, go through all all those areas. You need to call, email, text. You know, you need to make that happen. So that's the work you have to do when you're trying to get free. When, when you're trying to get it from a free source, that's the work you got to do. So you have to put that in, and you have to understand that. Now, another thing I want to say here is this: with with not having enough resources, right? Let's say you let's say you don't only have the money, I don't have no money. So you don't even have a truck, right? Because starting out, usually you need a truck, right? Right now, I don't have a truck. Uh, all my guys have trucks, okay? Uh, uh, or I, I rent a truck if my guys are on a truck, but I pay my guys for their vehicle handsomely and early, okay? So if you don't have that opportunity to, to have a truck or be able to, in my position, pay someone for their vehicle and pay them early uh, to make sure they want to use their vehicle and, and it's, uh, it's a benefit, to use your vehicle with me. Uh, if you don't have that option, then, then, then uh, 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 okay, you don't have a truck, you don't have a account set up where you can get things on 30 day net, you don't have uh, money to get leads, right, that you can go after. You know, you got all these things that you don't have. Don't wait until you have them to start, okay? Don't be that one where, hey, I gotta have all Milwaukee tools, battery tools to, to do these jobs. No. See, and that's the thing here. I'm going to end this video soon here, okay? Because I'm, I'm going pretty long here. But, but that's the thing here is that 
remember the old saying was, teach a person how to fish and they'll never go hungry. Throw that out the window. I don't believe that, okay? I don't believe that anymore, and I'm gonna tell you what I believe. But what, what happens is, is that you, 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 you delay uh, everything. You, you gotta have everything right, right? Uh, and I got guys that show up on my job that's like that. Uh, sometimes I gotta let go or retrain, you know? Oh, because this job don't look like how it usually looks, how everything is usually set up, how all the tools I usually have, then I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't make that drywall work, you know? Uh, I had a guy that was on a job site and the drywall was, um, uh, it was extra thick, right? They had drywall, then they had, they had two layers of drywall. On top of the two layers, they had uh, popcorn ceiling. And on top of that, they had more drywall, right? So uh, you got to match that, right? And the guy that went there was like, yeah, this is not right. Somebody messed this up. So I got to fix it. I don't really know what. So he's kind of, well, all the elements that he's used to are not there. So now he has to be creative on trying to figure that out. So now he's stuck. So I realized he's stuck. I'm going there, he already been there for a few hours. Like, what are you doing? Oh, look, they did this wrong. And I can't do that. And I don't mess with work like that. All these things on why you can't do it. And I got up there, put some shoes, put some extra drywall, you know, put this, that. They'll start making that stuff work. And then when I made it work, right, during, during the time I'm making it work, he has something to say. Uh, like, oh, oh, look at that, man. I see, 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 it's not going to work. And then I was like, hey, man, hold up. Let me finish. I finished it. And uh, one, he was surprised that the owner jumped up there and did it. And then two, he was surprised when I got it done. And you know what he said to me when I got it done? He was like, oh, I, I, got, it. I got it from here. I got it from here. So, so this is the thing here. It's not teach a person uh, how to fish and they'll never eat because there's too much time involved in that. I got to go get you a pole. Is the pole long enough? Is the string long enough? I got to teach you how to use it. I got to show you the lake to fish in. I got to show you the area that has the most amount of fish. I'm not doing all that, okay? This is what you do. You teach a person how to teach themselves how to fish. Let me say that again, because some of us didn't get that. You teach a person how to teach themselves how to fish and they'll never go home. What does that mean? That means help a person use their creativity to figure things out to not starve, to not eat. And that's what I do here on this channel. I'm teaching you how to be creative so you can get past these hurdles, okay? I don't have all the answers, right? I don't have all that, but I have the triggers to help you get over those hurdles to get to that next level so you can be creative. If, you, if you're not gonna be creative and you just follow my every step that I'm doing, you're gonna lose because what I'm doing works for me. It's not necessarily gonna work for you. Okay, so you gotta teach a person how to teach themselves how to fish. Okay, so what that means is that, is that you gotta be creative with what you have and not, not so much waiting to be creative until you have all the tools. You, if you got all the tools, you don't need to be creative anymore, right? Because you got everything lined up. Here, let me just grab this and use this. Here, let me grab this and use this. Let me grab this. And then you plug everything in and it's, you're good. Okay, but you have to build up to that point. Okay, use what you have now so you can get the things you need, get the things you want. Use what you got now. Be resourceful. Learn how to get things done when you don't have a truck. Maybe you got to go rent money from Home Depot. Matter of fact, the rental game has changed so much now. If you go on Craigslist, there's people renting their trailers that they're not using, the trucks that they're not using. Uh, equipment that they're not using. So there's a different freelance market for rentals now. So you shouldn't be out of a truck or a trailer, okay? Matter of fact, put to a, to a small trailer with your car. Make it happen, okay? So you go on Craigslist, you ain't got no resources, you go in and look for jobs, okay? Another thing you can do, depending on what market you're in, you call companies that are in your area. So if you're in a residential sector, you go to Google, Residential companies that's in my area, and you call them. Don't get discouraged when you when you start noticing that. Hey, you know what? I'm calling companies that's doing this work in house. 
Like you may call a bath company, right? And they don't need help because they're like, oh, I got enough guys. We don't use these sub I work out. We just give it to our guys and we do it in-house. Then you got to look for a different search wording, okay, to pull up the contractors that may hire you as a sub, okay? And, and, and that's, where you, that's what you do. Now, mind you, you got to do this every day to get the results that you want. You can't just go in here and just be like, oh, yeah, I called three companies today and I didn't get anything. No, you need to call 20 of them. Okay, and you're working, right? Then you need to be calling them doing your lunch. Okay, you need to be sending them emails. You need to, at night when you go home, get the list of emails. Already have the response typed out that you're gonna send to people. And just copy and paste and send it to people. Kind of edit it toward their name and kind of what they do, the area that they're in, and you send it off. Okay? And then you respond back when you can. But that's what you do when you don't have the, 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 the necessary tools. You're being resourceful, okay? Where else do you go? You, you, when you drive around, I'm missing this on other videos, when you're driving around and you see companies that you may want to do that work, you ask them, do you need any help? I can't work every day. I can work on Saturdays and Sundays. I can work at night. Do you need any help, man? I can come in. Don't worry about it, man. I got, if I say I'm going to be there, I'll take care of you, okay? And you ask. You got to put yourself out there. You got to drop the pride. You got to drop these things that's hindering you to get over that next level. You got to be creative. That's how you're going to get things done when you don't have all the tools necessary to get far. And that's how you get work. Once you start getting work, you're going to start seeing more possibilities. You're going to start seeing more areas that you can get in. You're going to start seeing more money coming in. And then you're going to know, hey, I'm on the right path, and now it's time for me to jump. Now it's time for me to leave. And then that's how you do it. That's how you do it when you don't have no money. And not just money, because when you ain't got no money, that means you ain't got the tools. That means you ain't got the resources. So you got to be resourceful for what you got. And stop waiting till you got everything right to start. Just start. Just start. Start with what you got and be creative on how to use what you have to get what you want, to get what you need. And I'm going to let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. Kind of got a little pumped up in that. I got a busy day. I got to finish off this unit here. I got another unit I need to finish. I need to go pick up some checks. I, I, I got two other jobs in commerce and, and uh, one in San Diego. This is... is it's great to be busy, but it's not so great when you're late. <laughs> so, hey, my construction entrepreneurs, I'm going to let you go with that. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Share this with someone out there that needs to hear this. Share it. Okay? And ask me questions. You got some questions? Give me a call. Okay? Give me a call. Give my office a call. Make sure that you, you reach out to me so I can, I can help you out with some advice, uh, some input, and things like that. Okay? Uh, uh, and remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Catch you on the next one.